Assortment of hot sauces I see in the background. Excellent. You, uh, you told me to come correct, so I came correct. Most excellent. Can I see what you brought out of curiosity? Sure. Yeah. So um, we've got five different hot sauces today, um, starting from uh, let's just say plain Jane, super basic. To uh, holy fuck, that's really hot. <laughs> Heard. I got. Uh, I got three. I'll try and keep up. <laughs> all right. Got. So we've got a, we've got what is called a level up attack mode. It is mango habanero hot sauce. Okay. Um, and then we've got from the Pepper Palace. It's called uh, King Chipotle. And also from King Ch uh, from Pepper Palace is a smoked serrano. Um, this one's a little chunky. Really, really good. I've I've had um, the next one before. This one right here. Yeah, I've had that one. Gotcha. So we haven't had this one yet this is i was just gifted this one but this is a uh, black truffle infused hot sauce so i'm very excited to try that and then um down here in this tiny little bottle this is called the second dimension this is 2.8 million scoville units <laughs> i'll try some earlier wow <laughs> It's All right, yeah. we'll, we'll see if we get there, <laughs> fellas. Uh, we'll see if we get there. Thank you, yeah. thank you for for joining. I really appreciate it. And Circle Thrones, my my special guest co-host today. But uh, let's talk about Burn, the new single, man. Uh, first, the video is crazy. How long does a video like that take to make? So, man, I think we spent. How long do you think we spent in that studio? Like. Just like a solid, like six hours. Yeah, I, I would say like six hours. So obviously, it's a green screen video. Uh, we didn't burn down a building. Go into <laughs> a building, yeah. Um, obviously, but uh, but uh, shout out to Dustin Dow. Um, he's the guy who uh, amazing work. Yeah, like he's the guy who did the entire music video. It's just a one man operation. Uh, we set up our so where we practice as a band um, here in Austin, Texas. Uh, what we practice as a band has this really big, like, just studio, like, live rehearsal room. Um, so what we did is we just set up in there. We booked, like, six hours, and he just brought this huge, massive-ass, like, green screen. We set it up, and we literally just got the camera angles that we wanted um, and uh, just basically took turns trying to stay within the green screen slot. So it took about six hours. Uh, it was super hot, and obviously, like, rooms like that there's no like airflow you've got a bunch of equipment running we're all dressed up to the nines trying nice to look good for lights. this video yeah super hot lights like yeah it's crazy um but yeah i'd say i'd say about like five and a half six hours for sure yeah it was like six hours by set up yeah hell yeah and i noticed that you guys have gone like the single only route instead of releasing like a full length is there plans to do that in in the future so there, there is now. Um, we've kind of had some hiccups, um, you know, per se, with uh, like uh, different members of the band uh, from from the from like the origin. Uh, like our original vocalist Michael, you know, ended up separating ways, and then we had uh, another vocalist. His name was Dallas. He actually came in, uh, and uh, we we released one song with him. But he was li he lives out of state, and he's got children, and it was just kind of hard to kind of like make things work. So that was a very like amicable split. Um, Dallas is actually the one that wrote the lyrics for Burn, but Hunter just tracked, you know, everything. I was um, a new addition. Yeah, Hunter is our newest addition uh, to the band outside of Ben, our bass player. But me and Chris right there in the photo, we're the ones on the far right. Uh, we've been here from the beginning um, and it's gonna, we really think that we found like the guys that really make this happen. Ever since Hunter has started, we have like we have enough material now for a full album. Yeah. Uh, we we just and how did you know, Hunter? How did you find them? Well, so Dylan and I met like seven or eight years ago and hung out like every day for a year or something like that, and then went our separate ways because we were living lives like very differently at that point, and like. You know, we just separated directions eventually to come back here. I moved to Washington at some point, like, I think it was two years ago now almost. And then I spent a year up there. And when I came back, I didn't have a project anymore. And uh, 
Dylan, I put it up on Facebook and Dylan just kind of hit me up and uh, it was, I was like, fuck yeah, it's Dylan. It was literally perfect because yeah. we were looking for a vocalist because Dallas and us just like had our split. Um, we were looking for a vocalist so we could get back to doing the work that we had, we had all this music and everything kind of set up and a bunch of plans and, you know, get show ready. We had, we had a show booked and we were just like, God, like we really got to get something going. And then I literally saw, he, he posted on Facebook, Hey, I'm moving back to Texas from Washington, uh, looking for any projects. I immediately was just like, I got something for you. And it worked. It worked so well. Had him in the studio the first day, meeting the guys, everybody just clicked. And now we're literally like, we recorded a whole track that Dylan had written. Like, yeah. That first, that, that first, yeah, day. first day. Yeah. Hell yeah. Best just, buds. Best buds ever it since. Was a missing puzzle piece, man. It worked perfectly. And Circle, what question do you have for, for Dylan or Hunter? I was going to ask, uh, what is your writing process? And you said that he tracked everything. So how do y'all actually write? Do you just start off with like a riff or do you actually have a process of, well, I know I want to write a chorus and then we'll go off of that. Gotcha. So um, I primarily, like myself, we're actually in my recording studio right now. Um, this is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. Vocal booth is literally this right there. I stand um, that black ass wall right there. I stand cool. um, but, uh, I write everything, um, all the all the music, all the instrumental, basically. And uh, me, Chris, and Hunter will actually sit together a lot of times and work out vocal melodies and stuff like that. Hunter usually writes all the lyrics um, and but most always, of the melodies. Yeah, but I'm always – it's always a team process. Like, every good – like, like I am the vocalist and main lyricist, but, like, you always need like producerial minds of the same kind of like space in your head. Luckily as a band, we just have that. Yeah. Um, but it all, it all starts right here. My writing process usually starts about the same. I'm just kind of like fucking around on my guitar. I find some cool like tones. A lot of times it starts with production too. Uh, as you, if you've listened to any of our, of our other music, or since you guys are probably going to check this out today, uh, you'll hear that there's some like, vocal melody like patterns in the background mm -hmm. i have this really awesome plugin that like has a lot of that kind of stuff and that's like my favorite thing it's like my bread and butter now what what's um, the plugin I, name so the plugin is called arcade by output i i love it that thing that thing is rad i make all sorts of beats like honestly if you take all the uh all the distorted guitars all the vocals like the, the hardcore vocals out and, and the drums bass it sounds like a like a pop song it does. Like really? 100% will sound like a pop song. Hell yeah. Chat wants to know, Dylan, what's your most painful tattoo? My most painful? Oh, fuck. Um, dude, probably, uh, <laughs> probably neck. I just, yeah, man, awesome. dude, it's kind of hard. The fingers, the fingers really kind of suck. Yeah, the but fingers so suck, quick. dude. Yeah, fingers suck, but they're so quick that it doesn't matter. Um, neck hurt, obviously, BG, you would know. Um, and then the chest, chest hurts too. So yeah, right, um, right where you have like no meat. Yeah, right here on the that shirt. that part's yeah. horrible. Because yeah. I, I just got blasted. I just did my chest about a year ago, and I I got this huge, massive like chest piece all done, and it was just it was rough, man. Like right honestly, around the nip, right around the nips too, stings a little dude, bit. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> it's this big old like demonic wolf thing, you know? Oh, cool. Um, yeah, it's rad. It, it it looks awesome. Um, I won't show you guys my titties today, but it looks great. Damn it! Before before we play burn, uh, let's start setting up for the trivia. What movie or TV show? If you guys could agree on one, one or the other, movie or TV show, have you seen the most? Where if I ask you trivia about this, you will not get stumped. To me, it's easier if you pick a movie versus a TV show. There's seasons and seasons. Okay. 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 But it's up to you. Okay. I'm I've been rewatching in conjunction with The Last of Us. I've been rewatching The Walking Dead for like the sixth time now. So okay, I stopped the seventh season on that. Gotcha. Yeah. So did I. I'm I'm I kinda stopped I think I stopped at like season nine. So um but I'm gonna I'm I'm just gonna say let's let's just run with the walking dead. Where are we here? You or do you it. have a better idea? No, I don't have a better okay. idea. But I, don't, I know my favorite. Okay. All right. Yeah, fuck it. We'll just run with the I Walking Dead. I almost want to eat hot sauce, so. The Walking Dead works. Give me a minute. We're hanging out with Hopeful. This is Burn. Please support him. Go on Spotify. Hit the follow button. So you guys DIY'd all the recordings? 
Yeah, so everything but mix and master happened here. Who right did here. the mixing and mastering? Uh, Kellen McGregor from Memphis Mayfire. Oh, cool. Hell yeah, I think yeah. He, he also worked with uh, somebody else we had on. I think I think he worked with Zana. I don't know if you've heard of Zana. Oh, yeah, yeah. Our uh, My buddy Chris McCloskey plays bass for Zana. Oh, really? Small is, world. Hell yeah. Yeah, Chris plays, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we both know Chris. Known him for a very, very long time. I'm uh, a bass guy. And I'm a big fan of his like whole presence. Yeah, yeah everything that dude about is, it. I yeah. love him as a bass player yes. and as a musician. Yeah, very cool. Small world. Chad has a quick question before I stump you here. Fun fact, you're about to open for Dark Divine, who's actually our second guest today. How did yeah. you land opening that show in Texas? So, um, man, I think uh, our local promoter, I think Skyler. Yeah, Skyler reached out to Skyler us. Skyler reached out and asked us if we wanted to be on that show. Um, and uh, obviously we have, with us being in Austin, Catch Your Breath, uh, they're also on that tour as well. They're from Austin and with us, we've been a band for a little over two years now, but we're just now starting to get into like picking up more shows. This will be like our fourth show yeah. as a band. Um, and uh, it was just a really good opportunity for us. And it was just super, yeah, super should, worth should it. Be packed. Just, like, should be a packed yeah, house that night. Yeah, great, absolutely. Super grateful for this opportunity. Oh yeah. That'll yeah, be a good one. Tyler and the people that come and take it. it great great group of people well my friends prepare the hot sauces here we go i start off with an easy one if you get the easy one i'll give you a harder one in the right. walking dead who is unintentionally shot in the head inside grady memorial hospital what is the character's name who is unintentionally shot in the head inside what's the answer her name is beth that is correct! Yeah, hell yeah. You did not have to do the hot sauce. Uh, we're gonna do it anyway. Which one did you pick? Well, I gotta join you. I can't just I can't just leave you hanging. In circle, let's do a let's do a swig. Let's join the party. Which one did you go with that, that round? That was the mango habanero. That was yeah, mango habanero. Okay, I'm gonna go with oh, exotic New Delhi cayenne pepper, and I also have to follow it with a tequila shot. Um, oh wow! I'm gonna spice it up. Yeah. And Sorkel, what's the what's the next question you have for the fellows? Why I take some hot sauce real quick? Since we're on the topic of food, what is your best food stops that y'all like to do as a band? Munchies, munchies. Um. So we actually have. Um, it's a. It's kind of a band tradition. So before every show, there's there's this pizza place. Um, I think it's like a local chain. Um, I have no idea. Uh, but it, it's called a, it's called Aviator Pizza, and um, uh, they got that bomb they, bomb. Uh, the bomb bomb. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we, every show before every show, we stop at Aviator's Aviator Pizza, and we grab a couple pints of they they have this like. Um, I think it's from Belching Beaver out in California. Uh, it's a PB and J. I've had it. Line. It's bomb. It's delicious. So we'll get we'll get a picture or two of that. It's like preschool. Yeah, we'll grab some. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll grab some, uh, some calzone, some pizza, some sandwiches, and just kind of like, you know, have like a nice little band powwow before a show. That that's kind of like our tradition that we do. So. Cool, cool. Having having been a band for two years. You said about two years, right? Yes, sir. And then were either you guys were in previous projects before Hopeful, correct? Like, even yeah, even like a high were. school band would count. Oh, oh yeah, 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 tons. It, honestly, yeah. I, I asked because I'm, I'm wondering if <laughs> if ever somebody in the music industry has given you guys like serious advice for your career that you're willing to share. Local band advice, we'll call it. Oh man, honestly, I don't. No, I don't really know. Um, if anybody, not really. Yeah, no. Sorry, we're not that special. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Do you have any advice you would give to a band just uh, from your personal trials and tribulations? I do. Okay. 100%. Uh, don't cheap out on... Honestly, anything. Don't cheap out on music videos. Don't cheap out on production. No. Don't cheap out on your merch. Like 
our merch, like we make sure to like get like the best quality t-shirts that we can. We don't do those like boxy fit t-shirts that like, yeah, the guild and overweight like stuff. Like <laughs> I get it. You're in a band, like dude, it costs money, you know, being in a band is expensive, but like you want people to like actually want to wear, wear your merchandise. So why not give them like a good quality shirt, you know, and yes, a reason for it. Totally but, yeah, makes sense. Don't cheap out. That that would be, that would be my, are terrible. Work yeah. on your craft. Yeah. If you're a lyricist, sit down and do it. Like don't just don't just think you're gonna walk into rooms and write the songs you wanna write. You gotta yeah. sit there in your head and fucking write to yourself for hours. <laughs> Fellas, if, if if you're down I think I'm gonna stump you on this one. If I if I do not, I will go with the ghost pepper hot sauce I have. Oh. But this okay. question is significantly hard, harder. Will you go with the hottest one you got? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We'll All right. The second trivia question about The Walking Dead. In season one, okay. while fishing, Amy and Andrea mention where their parents are living. Where are their parents living? Like, okay, hold on. What state? Kind of, what state? What state no, are, are their parents living in? It's mentioned so in, in like the first three, one of the first three episodes, I think. So everything's based in Georgia. I have the first couple. So I would imagine that they're probably. But it's, he said state. Would it be that simple that it's the same state? Honestly, I think so. <laughs> I'm going to. Gotcha, bitch. What you... Ah! <laughs> Is that your way of saying Georgia? Yeah, that was my way of saying Georgia. Georgia is not correct. I'll still give you a wheel spin. The answer is Florida. They mentioned that their parents, they hope their parents are doing better in Florida than they are. Oh. Ha! Got it! Ha! Oh, mother oh. Hey! So... I ended up getting screwed anyway. That's a spicy sour bottle. All right, I have to ask a somewhat, try to be elaborate on this question because this one's gonna take a second for me. I have, gotcha. I have um, <laughs> the most sour thing I've ever had. It was imported from the UK. It's called the Barnett Mega Sour Raspberry Ball. And I'm gonna put some extremely hot hot sauce on it and try to continue. Uh, how, are, how are you feeling? How hot was that? I feel fine. Hunter's got a lot more tolerance to like. I'm fucked. This when it comes to this, yeah. Uh, no, this shit. Hey, it's so hot. Um, I do this to myself for fun, not even just for interview. I can't even fill my mouth right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need to do more of the other hot sauce to wash that hot sauce down. Like I've always wanted to go on hot ones. That's like my dream. Oh, oh I'd love to go on hot ones. That'd be awesome. That'd be the shit. I would totally be down. I want to taste the hot sauce. They get those so specially made. I know that some of those, the ones that are meant to be, are delicious. Yeah, there's a couple. There's I've tried. I've had a couple. I've had the bomb, and like the bomb one of ones that's just fuck you sauce. <laughs> that's just like a traditional like. <laughs> yeah, that one's just hot. Yeah, straight up, honestly, just yeah. burn you. But it, it's like when people think of hot sauce, like that's kind of like where it's at. It's like Dave's insanity sauce. It tastes like absolute ass, but it is so hot. It does the trick? Yes. Uh, fellas, let's say hypothetically uh, a label came along and offered you everything you could ever dream of and it came with a $10 million per band member signing bonus. You've taken care of your family. You've bought the house of your dreams. You bought the car. What's just a fun couple of toys you would buy with all the money you got? And I'm going to okay. attempt this. You want to go first? What would I... Fun couple of toys. Let's say Let's say three. Maybe something you wanted as a kid, but it was like 50 grand, so obviously you're not going to get that for Christmas. <laughs> mm. I mean, I'd buy all my favorite Funko Pops. I know that. Does that count? Sure, you stock up. I would just stock I'd just be like, hey, I like that one and 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 that one. Uh, oh, buy a house and fill I would buy some one. badass Nerf guns. That's what I would buy. And airsoft guns. I love playing airsoft. Just have a whole armory full yeah, of airsoft guns. Yeah, just full of airsoft guns and nerf guns and shit. I live, I live out in the country, so I can just have fun out in my own backyard. It's nice. 
This is terrible, um, by the way. Insanely sour. I, I bet and it is. it's burning at the same time. It's no good. Oh, man. That sounds like... That just sounds... Awful. I don't envy your palates right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, me, I'm a... Obviously, I'm a big, like music head i would probably deck out my entire like recording studio um you know even more so than where it's at uh i'm also a big like dragon ball fan like i have some like dragon ball figurines i've got a dragon ball tattoo on my leg like massive massive dragon ball fan i would you said the funko pops and i'm like right there with you i would (laughs) i would literally go and get all of the best dragon ball like figurines funko pops like artwork like I, i possibly could there's this local artist, uh, like here in in the Austin area, and he actually uh, drew this uh, drew this for me. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, probably not, That's but nice. yeah, uh, local tattoo artist just like drew that for me. It's like it just hang. I've got this whole like shelf. It's nothing but like Dragon Ball stuff. I'm a oh, that's tight. Hell yeah, huge huge nerd. So. Um, I'm mostly a comic fan as well. I'm not necessarily a toy guy. But other than that, honestly, I would probably, yeah, dump a bunch of time into, into like taking trips with my soon-to-be wife. I get married this September. Congratulations. Um, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'll just take a bunch of trips, go on spoiler, you know, get her a new car, do all the things, anything that she wants, anything I want. Just live happy, man. Like. I would do it. I would, if they offered that, I'd sign it. I'd sign it right now. <laughs> give me that money. He said, give me that money. Yeah. We got time. We got time for two more questions, fellas. Uh, encircled, you're up first. Being a band myself that hadn't, hasn't had members, I'm trying to grow my social media presence. What advice would you have for social media presence growth? So, Since y'all have been working on it for two years. So that's something that's currently uh, like a very evolving kind of you know thing uh just (laughs) i don't even really know what to like call that it's just ever evolving um one thing that we do is uh more so now um is we are consistently trying to put out as much content as we can um and consistently run as many like ads as possible or like a very continuous ad um, that's actually called an evergreen campaign is when you're running a continuously, a continuous mm-hmm. ad that like slightly changes up, but it's still on the same ad platform. So it's still targeting a specific audience and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I, social media is everything trying to get into TikToks like a pain because a lot of us are like, you know, we've been, it's almost like we've been living under a rock and, uh, getting, oh, man. Same, getting into social same. media and the whole streaming platforms and marketing platforms. Like it's a, it's a big deal. Another thing that I would say is do not be afraid to ask for help. You know, if, if you've got the funds for it or some sort of like month, like monthly allotment that you guys can get, you know, pay for to pay for like, uh, obviously the advertising, but pay for like the mm-hmm. media marketing, like somebody who knows how to do that. Like, ask for help like 100 percent. that's honestly what the music industry is supposed to be is a, a bunch of people who are doing the same craft you know uh whatever styles they are kind of leaning on each other to kind of like you know help push each other's product and stuff like that so that's really what it is because it's all it's all about the music and getting it out there to the audience my final question for you fellas and i appreciate you both joining and giving us some time today is uh what can we expect Let's say come around December this year. What would you like to have accomplished by the end of the year? Well, um, I know for a fact uh, we are about to um, send off another song to go get uh, mixed and mastered here pretty soon. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna be working with Kellen oh, again. Cool. This song that we're gonna be doing um, is it's probably the heaviest hopeful song we've ever done. It is absolute banger it's really really good uh we're we're beyond stoked about it um and uh so we we've got that coming up um and we're uh we're actively just trying to take more shows we'd really like um to at least by the end of the year try to at least set up some sort of tour you know um 
playing the same local venues and stuff like that, you know, it gets a little monotonous. Um, and obviously with us, like I was saying, trying to like get our music out to as many other, uh, like people as possible. We trying to like start branching out and doing what we can. Um, I'd love to be able to set up at least like a two week tour, you know, by the end of the year and just try to hit like California, the entire like West coast would be super fun. Uh, but honestly, like really anywhere at this point, um, we're, we're eager, we're just ready to kind of like get after it. So I, that's what I would say is if we can try to get something like that set up, which is what we're actively trying to do, that would be the goal. Hell yeah. We, we are rooting for you guys. We, again, we appreciate you both joining ladies and gentlemen, Dylan and Hunter. Give me a hell yeah. Have an awesome day, fellas. We appreciate it. Thank you.